Hi all, welcome to vSparks. Today we are going to discuss about the concepts of Google Compute Engine. We are also going to see a demo on how to create a Linux virtual machine in Google Cloud Platform. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSparks channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We'll be discussing the concepts, features, machine types, and the CPU platforms of Google Compute Engine. At last, we'll be seeing the demo on how to create and access a Linux virtual machine in Google Cloud Platform. What is Google Compute Engine? Google Compute Engine is the infrastructure as a service component of Google Cloud Platform. Google Compute Engine lets you to create and run virtual machines on the Google's infrastructure. So the infrastructure that is running the Google products like Google Search Engine, Gmail, YouTube and other products of Google will be powering your Google Cloud Platform as well. So the VMs can be launched from a standard images or custom images created by users. Images are nothing but the blueprint of an operating system. So there are no upfront investments and you can run thousands of virtual machines in your Google Cloud platform. But the number of machines that you can run that depends purely on your quota limit. So these are some things that you should know before launching a virtual machine. Images, as I said you already, images are nothing but the blueprint of an operating system. Machine type or instance type that defines the hardware of your virtual machine. How much CPU you want, how much memory you want, all those things can be uh, defined by this machine type. Obviously, you need a software defined virtual network to access your machines. Firewalls that defines the incoming traffic and the outgoing traffic, which port I should open, which port I should block, all those things will be defined in the firewalls. IP addresses are used to find your machines in a network. At last, persistent disks gives you volumes, which act as a hard disk for your virtual machines. Features of Google Compute Engine These are some features of Google Compute Engine. First is Billing GCP builds your machines in per minute basis. For example, if you run a machine for 62 minutes, you should pay for 62 minutes alone. Some cloud providers builds you in hourly basis. So for our case, if you are running a machine for 62 minutes, you have to pay for 2 hours in the other cloud service providers. Next is availability. Availability in Google is more with the features of auto restart and migration. You can also run your startup scripts in your virtual machines. Coming to discounts, Google offers you two kinds of discount model. If you are running a virtual machine in GCP on an on-demand mode, that is a regular model without discounts. Google will give you discounts automatically based on the usage of your machine. So that is called as automatic discounts. Even if you don't opt for your discounts or discount model, Google automatically gives you discounts. This automatic discounts is also called as sustained use discounts. Second is committed use discounts. In this model, you have to reserve a VM for a certain duration, maybe years months etc it is the kind of reservation discount only if you reserve a vm you will get discounts here next is right sizing google cloud will give you recommendations automatically for right sizing your vms based on the workload that you are running in the vms if you run more workload but with less machines it will give you recommendation to increase your hardware i mean the virtual hardware if you are provisioning a very big machine but you are running very 
small workload then it will give you recommendation to reduce your uh, hardware this will in turn save your cost next is physical machines versus virtual machines here in physical machines all your resources are bare physical starting from your cpu memory network and hard disks but in the case of virtual machines all the resources are virtual starting from cpu memory hard disk and network this is the only difference between a physical machine and a virtual machine next is machine types a machine type is a template of virtualized resources that is used to define the number of cpu memory persistent disks network etc and so on google offers two types of machine types that is predefined machine types and the custom machine types in custom machine type model you can customize the hardware or the resources of a machine like how much cpu you want how much memory you want you can customize it but in the case of predefined machines everything is predefined by google compute engine only thing is you need to pick the template they will, they would have mentioned like 4 cpu and 16 gb of ram is the template size so you can if you pick the template only 4 cpu and uh, 16 gb of ram will be coming to your virtual machine so this predefined machine types is classified into different different families general purpose compute optimized memory optimized and shared core each family will be having multiple templates inside next is cpu platforms of google cloud platform when you launch a virtual machine in google compute engine it uses any one of these cpu platforms that you mention if you don't mention any of the cpu platform explicitly the compute engine will automatically use the default cpu platform available in the zone where your virtual machine is running so to run a virtual machine you need a hardware at the back i mean you need the compute power at the back so those compute powers is made up of only these cpu platforms you can see intel xeons cascade lake sky lake broadwell haswell ivy bridge sandy bridge cpu platforms and you can see the base frequencies for all these platforms now it's quiz time answer this quiz by pressing the right top corner icon that is present in your screen and the quiz is google compute engine offers what type of discount option 1 automatic discounts option 2 committed usage discounts option 3 uh, both 1 and 2 answer will be given in the next slide and the answer is option 3 both 1 and 2 google compute engine offers both automatic discounts and the committed usage discounts now we will see a demo on how to create and access a linux vm in google cloud platform step 1 log in to google cloud console and choose the respective project just go to console.cloud.google.com and enter your email id the next page enter your password so once you are authenticated you will be logged on to google cloud platforms console this is your management console so now you should make sure that in which project you are in there so right now i am in youtube project where i am going to create my virtual machine in the step 2 i am going to use my navigation menu to access google compute engine and create a linux vm this is your navigation menu click here under compute you can see compute engine and click your vm instances icon so just click create to create a new vm just give a name so i am giving it as test dash 
vm pick your region and zone and then the machine type so here i'm going to use an f1 dash micro machine which will be having one cpu and a 614 mb of memory if you need a bigger machine then you can scroll down and you can use or you if you want you can customize it so this is your image so i'm using a debian image if you want you can change it so i am picking cent os images and the boot disk uh, i mean the hard disk which you are using is standard persistent disk of size 10 gb if you want you can also increase this under management security disks and networking you can check which network it is using so it is using the default network i mean your machine is using the default vpc so once you reviewed everything just click create that's it now your machine is deployed so your machine will be up and running in few seconds yeah your machine is ready now step 3 access the linux vm using google cloud ssh console so this ssh console is inbuilt with your google cloud platform and you can see it here just click it now you can see a new uh, ssh uh, console window is opening in your browser itself after few seconds you can see this page now you can see you can access your machine that's it we came to the end of this uh, video here is the summary of the things that we have discussed so far Thank you from Vsparks and thank you for watching this video.